Hey everybody, good day and energy to y'all. So, I want to talk a little bit about meaning again and, you know, something just happened in the past 20 minutes or so that um, just again, you know, shed light on how important it is to have, you know, a clear, just a clear understanding or, or you know, that word understanding, um, you know, comprehension of how y'all do things together you know I live with my family here and um, you know there's we, we're all different places we all different perceptions so you know when things when crises happen or you know we have problems and situations um, you know depending on how you see the world you know we're all gonna act a little bit differently and um, you know when shit starts to hit the fan you know these differences can make a real big difference because, you know, we're all making decisions and opinions based on all the programming and information and experiences that we've encountered and absorbed. So, you know, there's a lot that's not said. There's a lot that's not exchanged. You know, we live these busy lives and we do all these things and we pay attention to the things that we love a lot in life, but you know, speaking from my own experience with my family, you know, I live with them every day and I see them all the time, but I don't really talk to them very much at all about, you know, stuff that I really, really care about. Like, and it's not that, like, I don't think they would care about it or they don't care about it or anything like that. It's, you know, a lot of it just has to do with how busy our schedules are um, and how caught up we are with just this, this trend of, you know, the times that we're in. You know, and, and I have a lot of responsibilities as far as, you know, dogs and um, these things are concerned. So, you know, it, it's hard to find the time to really even, you know, speak with, you know, family members and friends to, to really come to some type of a clear and concise understanding or, or agreement, acknowledgement as to, you know, the best way we can go about dealing with problems and situations when they do arise. Because they're going to happen. And, you know, I know for me, you know, knowing yourself, you know, is, is a real important piece to the puzzle when it comes to trying to figure out a harmonious way to solve things. Because, you know, when you know yourself, you know what, what you can do, you know, you know who you are and you know what your most strongest ability to shine and to help out is. And you can then do that and be an example for others to find out who they are and allow them to or help show them how they can, you know, grow and be strong in their own way, you know. And then the puzzle becomes stronger, you know, because you now have two pieces that are that much more sharper and their ridges are defined and they know who they are. And it's been, you know, meticulously carved and etched to such a good way that it fits nicely into that contour or groove that is, uh, is wanting to be filled or needing to be filled. So, you know, again, I just wanted to make this video and, and say that you know, essentially what happened is my, me and my brother, he had come over here to give my dad a ride to help out with some, some rehab, um, cause my dad had just gotten knee surgery and, um, so whenever my brother comes over, uh, with little bear, um, there's, uh, there, there's a lot of commotion. Um, so I, uh, I gotta, you know, help deal with the commotion of, of my brother coming over and then, you know, I deal with that and I get back inside and about as soon as I get back inside, you know, um, my brother notices there's a centipede in the corner and I'm like, oh shoot, a centipede. And, you know, the first thing that pops in my head is that, you know, they're poisonous and, you know, we have three dogs in the house and, you know, my concern immediately is we got to deal with the situation right here. I got to, you know, relocate the centipede to a more appropriate situation so that, He's not going to hurt, you know, the dogs or, you know, we're not going to hurt, have to hurt him or kill him. And, you know, he'll find a nice, peaceful, well, he'll find a place that's away from our interference outside. Um, little Bear, it's okay. But, uh, it's okay, buddy. What? Girls. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Little Bear. Hello. It's okay. <laughs> Rosie Shaw? Come on, girl. It's okay. Rosie Shaw, it's okay. Come on. Girl. Shy, Rosie. Little bear. Little bear, come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You gotta go to 
Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, the centipede, my brother saw the centipede and I immediately went into kind of, little bear, it's okay. Come on, we're gonna go soon. I can get this quick video in and we're gonna go, okay? So yeah, the centipede and you know, anyway, so I start trying to capture the centipede and my idea is to relocate him but I also got to keep eyes on him because he's a fast little sucker. So, you know, uh, I don't want to lose track of him because he's so small and we're in the middle of the house and there's so many places he could hide. So I'm trying to keep eyes on him while also trying to like get a paper plate and a Tupperware jar to, to capture him. You know, my brother and my dad are in the house. My dad's kind of trying to get ready for his, his rehab and my brother had just gotten here and he was eating some food. And anyway, uh, you know, in my mind, I was like, I could really use some help. I could really use some help. But, you know, my ego and, you know, again, you know, my issue with not wanting to ask for help and, and speak my mind and speak my truth in the moment, you know, can cause, <clears throat> can cause harm. You know, it can be very detrimental to the situation. And I just, you know, I just, uh, <laughs> I just went through that motion of not speaking my mind in a moment that um, I should have. And, you know thank goodness you know i look up you know centipedes and just to see how dangerous they are because um something was kind of telling me you know you don't really got to worry about it with the dogs and sure enough i look it up and it's a household centipede um they're actually very good um for to have in your house because they kill a lot of bugs and spiders and they're not very toxic to humans unless you have unless you're like allergic to, to insects like bees or something then they could cause an anaphylactic shock um, but if you're not allergic to insects, then, you know, they're relatively, um, they're not toxic. They might have a little bit of pain associated with the bite, but they're not going to really do anything serious to you. Um, or the animals, um, same thing with dogs and cats or any type of a, a larger type pet. Um, from what I've gathered on the internet with, uh, in regards to the household centipedes, there's a lot of different types of centipedes. So you got to make sure you know which one you're researching and which one that you are encountering. Um, but yeah, as far as the household centipede is concerned, they seem to be pretty cool cats and not something that I need to worry about as far as, um, you know, the safety of, uh, little bear, Rosie Shiloh or myself and my dad and my mom and my brother. Um, so, but again, in the middle of the moment, you know, I didn't have time to research all that while trying to keep eyes on a potentially dangerous threat. So what I should have done in retrospect was been like, Hey Mark, I'm going to keep eyes on this, you know? Could you, you know, either, I mean, somebody should have been researching to see if in fact this is an actual danger and the best way to proceed with it. And then I also should have had somebody else trying to find me a, a paper plate and a uh, Tupperware jar so that I could capture it while I keep eyes on it so that it doesn't, you know, um, so it's not able to hide from us and then thus we are not able to, you know, relocate it. And if it was, you know, something dangerous and, and really serious and potentially poisonous, um, then that would have been a really, uh, that would have been a real bad mistake I made. You know, I, I could potentially have just allowed or helped enable, you know, a poisonous creature to kill something because I, I was controlled by my fear. You know, I didn't want to break the moment of peace or whatever it was I was feeling inside myself to, to ask my brother and be like, Hey man, could you help me out real quick? You know? And he had just gotten here. So, I mean, normally I, me and my brother are cool. I could ask him and you know, he's very willing and he probably would have helped me if I would have asked him. He was just looking at his phone and wasn't very concerned about it. But, um, you know, again, that's on me. You know, I was feeling the desire to ask for help. I was in the situation. He had just gotten here. Um, he's got his own thing going on in his world and, you know, he, he's dealing with his truth. You know, at that moment he felt fine doing what he was doing and, um, you know, I was doing what I was doing. So, but again, just anyway, I kind of digress right there, but it's okay, Rosie. I'll be right there. I just wanted to say, you know, again, you know, with your family members or whoever you're all living with, interacting with. Oh, sorry, especially the times that we're living in right now. Um, 
you know, just having ways to identify, you know, order of procedures, you know, mathematics, you go back to order of operations, PEMDAS. I mean, it's a simple thing, but when you have an order of, you know, the military uses, you know, protocol, standard operation procedures, so that when stuff happens, they have an orchestrated way to go about dealing with situation based on, you know, what they've found to be the most effective. So that's all I'm trying to help develop um, within myself, with my family, and the rest of the world. A way that we can, um, again, filter out what's going on in the situation and try to find the most meaningful solution um, or, you know, way to go about navigating, you know, whatever it is we're doing. So, anyway, I just wanted to make this video real quick and, <clears throat> uh, you know, share with you guys that, you know, today I... Uh, I fell victim to fear, if you want to call it victim, where, you know, I let fear, you know, silence my tongue, and it's not really a good thing to do, it's not a good thing to do, it could have had really dire consequences, and, you know, I just want to share this with you guys, and, you know, maybe it'll help, you know, some of you guys, uh, not make the same mistake, you know, and maybe it'll help reinforce that lesson within myself. So, anyways, alright, hope you guys have a great day. Much love and peace.